Shea Bear 1000 here coming to you not live from my shop and I say not live because this is pre-recorded don't you hate that when people do that coming to you live from so-and-so was pre-recorded so it's not live but anyway got some more free junk here let's check it out Okay guys, like I said, got some more free stuff here. Little tackle box. Uh, we'll go over that. It's like a toolbox, tackle box thing. Um, so, but let's check this stuff out. I'll get you off the stand here. I'll try to keep you from jiggling around too much. Neighbor, we was having a yard sale Saturday. And the neighbor, the ones that had the tree cut down, um, I I just I was out back, and then I came came through the house and went through the front door because that's where all the stuff was. And I just seen him walking away. He was just walking away with a little uh, little hand cart, you know, a dolly. And he said, "Hey, I'll put some stuff there for you. You can either have it or sell it or give it away or whatever. It's just taking up space. I don't need it anymore." So, in this bunch of stuff, he gave me all these sockets. Um, that's a Husky. They all seem to be, there's a Craftsman. They all seem to be pretty decent sockets. They're just dirty. There's a Craftsman. Uh, I've got plenty, plenty of sockets, I do believe. Um, what is that? What's that say? channel lock so it's the, you know name brand stuff so that was in there then this was in there too built-in organizer transparent lid opens does that look transparent to you it is not transparent so they've put the wrong sticker on it <laughs> Uh, removable tray, snap latch, rust proof, no metal, well I would hope it's, it's plastic, ah, no metal parts, and then it gives the dimensions, so, um, it can be used as a little toolbox, and that's what he used it for, but it can also be used as a tackle box, so, okay, so that's pretty nice, let's see what's inside of here, we've got a nice pair of pliers, which I may have to keep. This is 1960 something on it. Let's scratch this off and see what it says, shall we? No, 196.8. Okay. Alright, so that can stand. A couple, you know, um, you know, there's a bolt, there's a couple lug nuts. The tray comes out. It's a decent box. You know, I wouldn't want to put anything heavy in it. And this is what's inside. Um, I may have to keep this. This is old. Germany. 10 inch. Drop forward steel. I like that. Um, I think I'll keep that. It's a good screwdriver here. It is a... It's a Stanley handyman. I've got I've got a million of these things. A little tiny screwdriver. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll keep that pipe wrench. I got one of that same size that I'll throw in here. And what I usually do is I throw some stuff in here and you know sell the box for like ten bucks. I'm sorry, I'm sweating all over the place, guys. Okay. Now this was also in here. Quality. What is that? SW Tools. Well, let's um, check this out. Which I'm probably going to keep this. Because it's old, you know? I mean, that's, that's handy. Now, I don't know if they're all in here or not, but...
There's a Walden. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm definitely going to keep this and that, um, that, uh, shit, what do you call it? That pipe wrench in there. Now that's not the only thing that came with it. Now inside that red box, I have already taken out. This stuff right here. Check them out. Every one of these is crafted. Now, it's not a whole set. Of course not, but that's okay because I got some craftsmen over there that may need a couple of these. I'm not sure. I'll just have to check it out. But I'm definitely keeping those. And, um, that's about it. But, I'm probably going to keep this, and um, there's a box over here, we'll get that in a second, that was in the back of, in the toolbox of her dad's truck, that I'm probably going to put in our truck, and I may stick this in our truck too, okay, because I've got plenty of tools, and uh, this is old, I'll keep this out because I won't need this along the road or anything, uh, this, this sets your uh, gap on your spark plugs. I know everybody says, yeah, but I just buy them pre-gapped. Buy four of them and check the gap on them and I'll bet you one to two of them, that's 25 to 50% of them is going to be off, okay? And it does make a difference, believe it or not. Uh, we'll get into that some other time. But I'm definitely, you know, probably just throw this in the back of our truck so I can have a couple sockets. I just like it because it's old, you know? The wall. So, yeah, Walden Incorporated this isn't on the back or on the bottom. Stevens. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So let's um, let's see what's in that box there and see if it's got some wrenches and stuff that we can put in our truck. You know, that way you never know in case you break down or something. You got something to work with. You know, you don't have to grab a tool pouch. Alright, so let me get you on the stand. I'll, I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, so here's that box he had in the in his toolbox in the back of the truck. It's crescent, you know, you've all heard of crescent wrenches. So let's open this up. You gotta love the ingenuity to keep this closed. And the handle has long since dilapidated so he put him a rope on there but hey it works right okay so let's open this up like I said I do know there's some wrenches in here okay so he's got me one of these there so as far as the wrenches um, really it's only missing one two three four of the actual wrenches and I guess it's a great neck and um, this is a Pittsburgh but it's pretty much got all the tools. Uh, looks like I'll have to find. Well, there's a 716. That should be in here. I may have a half inch wrench somewhere uh, that I can stick in here. It's just a 12 millimeter. Uh, there's a couple sockets missing, but no big deal. But there's some screwdrivers. You know, I may have a pair of pliers put in here, but uh, you know, all these things it does need a ratchet there I think I do have an extra one of them I can stuff in there um, just the, the basics you know if you break down you're good to go so there's that I just thought I'd throw this in this like I said wasn't a free thing but I just thought it was cool since we're talking about tools I got my wrenches over here these are the ones that I redid last night Loaded a video on. He turned out pretty good. I got to put them over in the toolbox. Got them all wiped down and so they won't rust and everything. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. It's a pretty cool uh, free stuff there. So uh, I got to check that out. That was in her dad's truck. So I got to go through a lot of stuff that came out of that toolbox of her dad's truck. Probably sell a couple things. I'll keep a couple things put in our truck. So. All right, guys, there you go. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm sweating my ass off here. So I'm going to get off of here sprinkled a little bit. 
I sprinkled a little bit yesterday. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to edit this video and get it up for you. And then uh, wait on Monkey to get back. So, with that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, share share my videos if you like. Uh, it would help me out a lot. I would appreciate that. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notified of more cool little videos like this. So, again, guys, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.